G'day guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to be having a look at the VFW, or the Verschussflakwagen. Yep, sorry, I just butchered that. Or the Death Toaster, as I refer to it from my old World of Tanks days. This is a battle rating 5.7, rank 3 German tank destroyer, premium, um, event vehicle. You can purchase it on the marketplace, um, as far as I know, I think, yeah. It is armed with the 88mm Flak 41 cannon with 84 rounds of ammo. This is a long 88 with uh, armed with the Panzergranat 39-43 which with it um, adds up to 230mm of penetration. So it is quite effective at 5.7. You do also have a uh, high explosive with fuse self-destroying which is the fuse is set by your uh, rangefinder, which is quite handy at 5.7, but you won't really get use out of this, just the rangefinder will be helpful. And you also have uh, APCR. I take maybe one or two in case I ever come across like an IS, I don't know, something very heavily armoured. Um, you have a gun depression of minus three and positive 90 degrees, so you can shoot straight up if you want to. You have turret rotation speed of uh, 8.4 degrees a second, so it is a bit slow. Um, but you can just traverse your tracks and stuff, but you really want to be not trying to turn 360 degrees with this thing. Um, the reload rate is 4.6 seconds with almost max crew. It can reach a 4 second reload um, with ace crew and whatnot, but yeah, it's mine's not aced. You don't have much armor on this vehicle with only... Uh, 12, 13, yeah, not much armor. 20 mils on the hull. It's very limited armor. And because of this, it does have, as you can see, a uh, hull break. Which, can I just say, this is a bit stupid, but, um... You can get hull broken from that. Yep, that's hull breakable. Yep, nice job, Gaijin. Um, and uh, for armor, you have the side skirts. You can either have them down like this with a 4.6 sec or about a 4 second reload, or you can have them up if you install them and have them up like this. Your reload speed does um, increase by about 160%, but you do have some side armor. But um, yeah, I wouldn't, and you do lose gun traverse as well, so I would very much so recommend not having that installed. Um, you have a crew of six, you have two in the hull, and then you have three over here and one over here. Um, unlike when this thing was first added, people know to MG this thing now, so you will get MG'd here a lot. Whereas when this thing was first added, nobody knew how to kill it, and it was an absolute monster, because nobody knew where to shoot or MG it, etc. It weighs 26 tons with 360 horsepower, um, so it's not the fastest on like rough terrain, but if you get it on a road, it can reach up to about 60 kilometers an hour, so it's reasonably mobile. For arcade, it's got a visibility of 100%. Doesn't mind me, I don't play arcade. For your camouflages, you have your summer camouflage, you've got standard camouflage, which is uh, basically olive, uh, desert green, desert yellow. Then you have summer camouflage for 245 kills. You have spots for 200 golden eagles. You have winter camouflage for how many kills was this? 350 kills. You have winter camouflage waves for um, 200 golden eagles. You have tricolor summer camouflage from the marketplace or books or um, books um, boxes. And then you have VFW 316,20 Panzer Division from, it's just a rare drop from a, from a, uh, a box, if it will load. Oh, this is actually look. oh wow, this actually looks nice. I wonder what box you get that from. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, oh, that looks nice. I think I might have to find out how to get this. Oh well. Alrighty guys, let's get into some battles and see what we can do. 
on Eastern Europe at 6.7. Surprise, surprise. Okay, Yaga Panther. I have a better gun than you. Better reload rate. You have armor. Come on, move. Why oh, hear a centurion? I think. No. We were focusing the British and the Americans. Okay. Get into a good position and let's see what we can do. Let's be a bit aggressive. Oh, the other kind of shooting people. Team moving out back. Who are they even shooting at? Yeah, they've got it under control. Let's push out a bit more. Okay, um. Oh! Hello, friend! Hello, dead friend! Tank out in the open. Oh, lucky. Had it been like a centimetre to the right, probably would have bounced, so it's really lucky where it hit. Okay. Forwards, 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 forwards. <laughs> oh, that depression just kills you on this thing. I guess it wasn't made, made to be an anti-tank vehicle now, was it? <laughs> so they're not like, oh, we can meet shit over bridge lines. <laughs> um, ooh, MG fire up here. I mean, there's someone to my left. Maybe? No. Tank front. No! 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 No, it's a scorpion! Ah! Oh. Alrighty, let's get into another battle. Oh, come on. That boy's our ass to come up and get out. Alrighty. Seen clips so many trees. What are we on? Close Finland. And we are at 6.7. That's fun. Doesn't really matter though. We can still pretty much penetrate everything. Because you know, Germany suffers. So there's a single cap, so it's domination, or conquest, so. So, um. I guess. Let's see if we can find a spot where we can. use. our non existent depression. Was it three degrees? Alrighty. thing is just so big. Anything you want to get the tank pointing downwards. Alrighty, how far is it over there? Let's use the range finder. It is 600 meters.
Excuse me. Oh. Oh, tank front. I might take him down. Where did that T forty four go? Oh, hello. T by four died, okay, that's good to know. So what did I lose? I lost a loader. Is that the commander? That's the commander. Commander and one of the drivers is down. Alrighty. Ah Where are you? Oh tank front and my team. Huh? How did that not? I'll break him. Oh, now someone's smoked. Okay, expect the smoke to clear. Come on, smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Come on. You know you want to do it. Clear. Alright, here we go. There we go. That's the hull break we were looking for. To the oh, tank front. To the map. Yes. Go. T40, 34, 85 down. PD76. Oh. Oh well, four kills and assist is not bad at all. Alright, let's get into another battle. Uh, it's a very capable tank um, with its reload, but you need to get it in a position where it's not going to get flanked or any of that sort. You want to keep your enemies at range and keep shooting them because when you do get flanked or, you know, you can't turn your gun fast enough, that's when you die. The second you can't shoot first, you die. Or, you know, your enemy sees you and you don't see them. So you need to stay at range or you need to be very alert. The range find does help with the range. And yeah, but as you saw, you get MG'd. That's what everyone just knows. As soon as they see this thing, press the space bar, start MG'ing. Mobility was okay. And as you saw, we did suffer a bit with the gun depression, but yeah. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next episode.